Hey and welcome to another Studi One quick tip. Recently there was a discussion on Facebook on how to copy or move pads in Impact XT. The user wanted to create his own Impact XT kits with sounds from several different presets and asked how to copy pads to other Impact XT banks or even to another Impact XT instance. So here's my Impact XT with all the sounds. And the first thing that's useful to know is that you can hold down Ctrl or Command on Mac and then drag one pad onto another pad to copy the pad. So now both pads are identical. But you could, for example, turn on the filter and turn the cutoff a bit lower or tune the sample. So now you have a nice variation of the same pad. So that's how you can copy one pad to another pad. If you hold down the shift key as well and you drag to another pad, then both pads are swapped. Here's the bass drum. Now I hold down Ctrl and Shift and drag and you see now they are swapped. Now the snare is here and the bass drum is here. So that's basically moving the pad. Now, how can we copy a pad into, let's say, bank B? I can't drag the pad onto the bank button, that won't work. But for that we have another option to copy the pad by right-clicking the pad and here you can copy the pad. And then go into bank B, right-click on one of the pads and just click paste. And there it is. But what about different instances of Impact XT? Let's add another Impact XT just by dragging it into the song. It's completely empty so far. How could I now copy a sound, a pad, from the other instance to this instance? The copy method doesn't work here because the pad data is only available in the same instance. So here's the trick. We need to open both instances side by side so that we can drag the pad from one window straight into the other. How do we do that? We pin one of the windows with this little icon here. And when I now open the other instrument, it won't replace this window, but I can have both open. And now I just need to drag the pad over to the other window. Let's take the bass drum, the snare, but for the hi-hat, I'd like to take a different preset, maybe this one, yes, this hi-hat. Drag it over and let's take some more sounds. So that's how we can pick sounds from different banks, from different presets and create our own custom instrument from Studio One presets. And of course you can also take sounds from your file system or from your Studio One song. And then of course you can save that as a new preset. If you found this quick tip useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to support my channel. And see you in the next video.